A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. More about them at the end of the video. Hello everybody, I welcome you all back to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today I'm currently making my way to another abandoned castle in my most beloved country in this entire world to explore in France, you guessed it. And this place is a very unique and historical castle again. I can already see it in the corner of my eye here. So let me show you what I am seeing. What a beauty everybody, what a beauty. This journey will be straight out of a fairy tale, something like you have never seen it before. In the distance, on an immaculate meadow, emerges a glooming French castle. Its appearance is straight out of a movie. Built in the year 1726 for the influential and powerful Neveu family, a family that yielded their influence over this region of France, and in the process became extremely wealthy. Their castle makes a statement and shows the strength of this family over the generations. The last owner of this place used to be the aristocratic Jean. He continued on the path of his ancestors and lived a life of glamour and wealth. Mr. Jean had six children and a loving wife, who all lived together in this place. For many decades, the family made countless memories inside and left everything behind. Besides being a great businessman, he also loved to hunt and collect rare and classic cars. This tragically also caused his death. Because on the 23rd of September in 2013, Mr. Jean was involved in a car accident and was killed instantly. His children had moved out by now and abandoned the castle causing it to slowly deteriorate over the years, until the state it is in right now. Almost unsavable. Let us take you on a walkthrough of this masterpiece and show you what has been left behind of this everlasting beauty. Welcome back everybody to another episode by the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today we are exploring an 18th century chateau. You can see from the smile on my face that I'm really excited for this one. It has great history, it's a magnificent and meticulous place and I'm yet again in my perfect 18th century attire to accommodate this place with. I want to thank Martijn behind the camera for filming this place. His link will be in the description. He makes Dutch urbex videos and he's worthwhile as well to check out. So without further ado, let's put on my hat and let's go explore this immaculate place of Mr. Jean. Where should we start? I think uh, let's go through the basement first and let's see what's left behind here. I think that's a good start for the video because in basements of these abandoned castles, mostly the servants would only come and they would prepare the food and everything in here. But the first thing that I see here in the basement is this billiard table or the snooker table. I'm not sure because there is a cover on there. But yeah, I see that uh, this also would be used as a relaxing or leisure room by the owners of this place and where they could play some games maybe later on in the history of the castle. Lots of pots and pans from the former owners are left behind where the servants most likely cooked all the meals with. And here we also have a manquette of a house. Did you already see this? Wow. This is like a big villa, probably built somewhere in France right now. And they had the manquette, the scale model of this place right here in the castle. Wow. So I think this would be the kitchen for the castle where the servants would cook the food for the, in the former times for the owners. We still have this stove left here, a white wood stove. The ashes still in there. This would be the oven part. Here we have a little faucet. You could take hot water, water from it at any time. And I think you would fuel the fire over here or over here. These are pretty stuck. And then right over here, we have another fireplace for our duties, for baking, for cooking whatever the purpose of this one was. What a place. Okay, let's check out this basement. Oh, that's stuck. Oh. 
you can you are gonna see throughout this video that this place is deteriorating very fast it's only been abandoned for eight years but i think the de deterioration has started before that time you can see some wood storage in here and over here we can see the first time signs of deterioration the paint is chipping off the doorway is falling apart and everything is going to nowhere it's a very sad sight that these beautiful historical 18th century places in France are just falling apart. Nobody cares about them anymore. There are hundreds and hundreds of these places around this country and yet nobody even thinks about restoring them or giving them a new life. And every single time I explore these places, that's just a sad feeling. Over here we have the coal room with the coal storage and you can see there's still a lot of coal left behind for the fireplaces throughout the castle wow. because back in those days people didn't have central heating and they relied on coal and wood to yeah provide them with heat it's actually a very large basement to my opinion it spans the whole the whole castle What do we have over here for kind? I'm not sure what this room was used for. We can see like drinking reservoirs, maybe for animals, but I don't believe animals would be inside of the castle. You can see some boar fur or some boar skin with some boar head. Hairs still left behind. And the owner of this place was also an advocate of hunting. So maybe he, he used this, who, uh, this room to yeah, dismantle the animals, I must say. <laughs> oh, look over here, even the bicycles of the household are still left behind. Fascinating pieces to cycle around the countryside that we're in right now. Even this child's bicycle is left here. Completely rusted up. With a leather saddle. Okay, I think we have one last part, this basement, wow, look at this wagon to transport things around the grounds here. <laughs> Can you stand over there, show, show the people how it would be used? Look at this, it still functions, there is a wooden wheel at the front and you could transport different kind of things around the castle grounds. Wow. Right there behind you, look at this. We have a food storage. This is where the servants would store all the food and other things for the castle. There are lots of files left behind. This is coughing syrup. It's written on there in French. Really old medical bottles. Marinol. <laughs> and in here, storage area. The spider webs are taking it over. Oh my god. And even more coal and wood to this side. There's one last part of the basement that we have to look at, and that's this room over here. Okay. Again, a very general storage area. You can see this wagon over here. This looks like some sort of a child's wagon. Yeah, you would put a child here at the front. Come have a look. This is where the child would be, I think. Or it would be again a transport wagon and I'm not 100% sure. But <laughs> if somebody can point me out that. This big cabinet that doesn't want to open anymore, unfortunately. Chests left behind here as well. Oh, come have a look. I saw here in the corner of my eye, we have a teeny tiny small wine cellar that's still completely filled with bottles of wine. Look at all the spider webs that are covering it. It's just crazy. Here we have some bottles that are still filled with liquor. This is a very, very old bottle. This one is also still full. Oh no, I think, oh yeah, there's still a little bit in there. 
the the wine is very viscous it's very old oh my gosh and there are even no labels on it so that lets me to believe that all this wine is self-produced somewhere around this region wonderful okay let's go further throughout the castle right in front of me here a winding staircase that's gonna take us to the top floor i'm very eager to go up there so let's waste no more time and let's venture into the living parts of this castle and here we're gonna also see that this place is deteriorating at a very fast pace first have a look at the design of this staircase it is meticulously designed every single detail but what's most interesting about it is that on every step on every hand railing there's a little face carved into it into the metal work there's even an umbrella left over there in the face of somebody that came into the castle but forgot his umbrella when they left wow have a look up here this is a very beautiful sight spanning up four flights to the top floor to the attic this is actually a tower as well from the castle okay so let's go up <laughs> there's a very small statue in this very big encavement in the wall for a statue <laughs> this is way too small to be in here it's a little religious statue of course when these people lived in this place in the 1800s 1900s they were very religious and this is gonna be we're gonna see it all throughout the castle again and that's mostly when we explore these abandoned places in France there is of course because of the deterioration a lot of black mold in this place I'm gonna avoid this part at most so let's go to the left here and let's go to the remainder of the castle we're also gonna see that there are a lot of new parts combined with a lot of historical and old parts throughout this place for example we have this room and I believe that this room has been used yeah, probably as one of the last rooms in this place. It seems like a little dining area that they made over here. And there are some medicines of the former owner left behind. Yeah, some medicines, some things. Uh, probably at an old age when Mr. John, right before his car accident, left this all behind. We also have these very big built-in cabinets in this room that are still completely filled with food. Wow. There's a bottle completely filled with liquor left here from the region of France. And also some sweets. <laughs> wow, this is just molding right now. Mm. Dirty stuff. Not that sweet. Not that sweet, no, <laughs> not that sweet, exactly. But now, now let's go to the nice parts of the castle, the historical parts, where you all came for to watch this video. And this is one of the first rooms. I believe that this was a little relaxing room, a little sitting room. Right after dinner, people would come in here, have a coffee together, have a cognac or a whiskey together, and just talk into the night. It's actually a very nice room. It has been a little bit more modernized, over the years but you can still see the historic parts for example the paintings on the wall over there you can see a man riding a horse on the countryside of france oh no exactly excuse me it's a woman riding a horse and then we have in the walls these beautiful paintings oh, lovely this this you only see in these castles these these Paintings in the wall, they are just meticulous. One of the first pictures of one of the children of Mr. Jean. He had six children, so that's just one of his daughters that we see depicted over here. Beautiful. But then let's enter into one of the most beautiful rooms of this entire castle. The dining room where the family came together, had dinner, talked, had great times. I can still see them sitting around the table here at special events, at Christmas, at, and just also day-to-day -day life. Wow. 
a wonderful chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Beautiful piece. And I also love the crown molding. It's a very big facade of crown molding on the ceiling. Completely made in brown. But right behind it there you can see that the castle is cracking up. The place is falling apart and it's just not livable anymore. So unfortunate. If they gave me the opportunity, I would buy this place. I would try my best to restore it. I would even get the help from you guys to restore a place like this. But these people just don't want to. They don't want to. There's a fireplace here, but it's underneath the TV. Very tiny brown fireplace that matches the color of the room. <laughs> then they had this very small TV on there. I love how these fireplaces are built right into the wall. And the chimney goes through the wall up to the ceiling of the castle. Wow. Might this have been Jean? Or might this have been one of his fathers or grandfathers? Perhaps. This is a very old painting actually. We have a signature here that says DC on it. Wow. And then on the wall, all throughout, we have these plates, these delft plates. I'm not going to take them off the wall. I wanted to show you the back of it. They're all very unique and handmade. This is an Asian one, perhaps a Japanese one, looking from the style of it. There's also a very big one there above the door. And then we have this cabinet. Again, completely with all these plates displayed. Love this little bowl, flower design. These depict the former French times. Look over here. Here is a dentist working on a man's mouth while somebody is cleaning his shoes. <laughs> That's lovely, right? Here are some working men just sleeping and probably after a, work, a lo long day of working, they're smoking and he's sleeping. <laughs> That's lovely. One of the first signs of his hunting hobby, a record probably with hunting music. There are still records in there, as you can see. And they would play them over here on this very large radio. A lovely piece. Here we can see the first fazans hanging on the wall that he probably was very proud of that he shot them and he hanged them up over here in the dining area for his guests to see his brightest possessions. Also a deer hat hanging there as well. <laughs> I like this one more, the French Alps above it. That's more my thing, nature, the mountains. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, have you seen this one? It's a knight that slayed a dragon underneath. Wow. And here is all the nice china to put on the table for when the important guests came around to the household. Wow. Look at this, they are made in France. There's even a crest on there. They're probably very, very expensive. Let's close this up. Now one last thing in this room, that's this cabinet, a wonderful cabinet, but first you can see the man above there. He doesn't look like the other one we saw. He's also probably a very important man. You can see some awards hanging from his costume. Let's open this beauty up. Unfortunately, it doesn't want to open up anymore. Okay.
let's open up these grand doors from the dining area. Oh, this one doesn't want to open up anymore. Oh yes, I found it. And then we can walk straight into the hallway of the place. A very neat room. Have you shown them already? Let them look around what we are seeing. Wow. I'm gonna turn up the light a little bit. No, let me open up the shutters. And let light flood into this room. Wow. Now you can see the room. Now you can see its beauty. <sighs> Wonderful. But he has stacked a lot of books all throughout the room. As you can see, there are piles and piles of books. There are probably a thousand books stored over here. Crazy. And I wanted to point out as well, here in the middle of the room, we have this big encavement. And this used to be to display something, but now there's nothing to display anymore. They used to hang a painting here in the middle. And now we have this marble accents to the left and right of it. Wonderful. More books down here. And then we have this knight with a shield and a lion oh, made in porcelain. I love this piece. Here to this side, we have this wonderful piano. That still plays. It's very, yeah, strange actually to see that this part of the castle, these rooms all the way to the left are still in a very good shape. And the rooms all the way behind me are in a very bad shape. It's just crazy. Somehow water got into the castle on that part and not on this part. Truly love this piece. I can still see him sitting here at night playing the piano. I can play the piano, so this is probably out of tune, but this is what he, how he would sit here and just enjoy himself in the night. Wonderful. And over here we can see the same encavement coming back, but this time with a painting in there. Wow, of a woman holding a child. They look very sad. It's unfortunate. Besides being a hunter, Mr. Jean was also an advocate of cars. We're going to see lots of car magazines coming all throughout the castle. You can see this one's from 2008, the year when he passed away, unfortunately. Wonderful. And this is the grand entrance of the castle, the doorway to come into the place with the curtains all around it. We also have these statues to either side of it, of two historical knights, of one historical knight wielding a knife, wielding a sword, completely made out of wood. And it's the same one, oh, excuse me, it's not the same one. It's a different one. It's a woman with a child and she's also wielding a knife. Beautiful. You think this is the crest of armor of the family? This might be a possibility, right? There's a key in the middle of it. Okay. Let me close up the shutter. Let's go further to this side. And here Mr. Jean conducted all his work. This was his bureau of the place. Here he would work into the night. Ja, ik kan even licht een beetje harder zetten, want ik ga je niet te lijken allemaal overdoen. Ik kan gewoon licht zo harder zetten. Dat is goed. Opnieuw? Ja, doe maar. En dan we komen to another special room of the place. One of the most important rooms of the place, the business room, where Mr. Jean conducted his work. He was uh, act active in the heavy equipment industry, like uh, excavation machines and stuff like that. And this is just where he conducted all his work. Wonderful. Grand ceilings again. Beautiful crown molding on the ceiling. 
and also a very lovely and big room. You can see all his paperwork is still left behind from when the time that he passed away. Every single paper is still left here. Every book that he once read, all left behind. All the magazines that he once read, crazy stuff. We have a lot of paintings there as well. Of course, of deers running through a field. And over here, we have another boar running around. This costed 750 euros. That's actually a lot of money. It's such a small painting. I'm of course not an expert in art. And I can judge it too much. Here we have a lot of drawings left behind. All related to hunting. And to animals. Oh, I love this one. Look at that. Very beautiful one. Okay, let's close that up. And then right in front of us here, we have the bureau where the man conducted his work. <laughs> Look behind here. Wow. He had this toy car collection of the scale model car collection, I should say. And there are like Ferraris in here, over here. I'm not sure what this car is. I'm not 100% sure, but we have a Ferrari right there. We have a Mercedes in here. And we have other different kinds of cars that they all collected. Let's see if we can open this up. This seems to be very stuck. Let me show you another one over here. This is a Bugatti. Wow. They are probably worth a lot of money. Here we have a scale model, Rolls Royce. Even with a license plate and everything, made by the Rolls Royce company in Italy. Wonderful. Then the very big desk here in front of us, where the man conducted his work. Here he would sit and yeah, do all his work. We have a picture left behind, probably of John standing by the car with some women around him and another man. And look over here as well. There's even money left behind. One euro. This You can actually pay something. You can get a drink with this uh, in the store. 50 cents. That's all just left here. <sighs> Crazy. We had this antler lamp. You can see that he was very fond of his hobbies. I think we have one more room to this side. Wow. It's also a very special room. A very grand room, very spacious. This looks more like a ballroom where people would dance or have parties. With this wonderful chandelier hanging here in the middle of the room on display. Oh, watch out. <laughs> there are so many magazines right here behind you. And they just tell the story of Mr. Jean and his life. His car life and his animal life, his hunting life. All just left here. That's crazy. Is that King Leopold? Uh, am I right about that? I think that's King Leopold. I'm not 100% sure. It's a wonderful painting nonetheless. Wow. And then we have another very big sofa left here, in the middle of the room. I'm still wondering what this room would have been used for. What the purpose of this place would have been. A table with a jacket still hanging here of one of the former persons. Wow. Wonderful. These paintings are every single time so special. 
when I go to these French places. In the right corner of it, you can see there is even a crest. And all of them have this crest. This one had it as well, over here. <laughs> Watch out, <laughs> Martin almost tripped. We have another crest over here. There's so much rubble on the ground. We haven't pointed that out yet, but there's so much rubble on the ground. I think you tripped over this. You tripped over the head of a baby. <laughs> yeah. And it came from the mirror over there. It fell out. It was probably right there in the middle of the mirror. Oh my God, let's place this here nicely on display. That's so unfortunate. So much rubble, so much deterioration. Not a wonderful painting hanging here on the wall. So everybody, you now have to do only with me because I'm gonna take over from Martijn and we're gonna explore the remainder of the castle, the upstairs. But first, I'm gonna go through these doors right in front of us here and go into the hallway of the place. Let's open these beauties up. Little door handle with a key right next to it. And that leads us into a very grand hallway. This beautiful place. Wow. This is a sight to behold. Wonderful. Three grand mirrors there in the hallway. And this is a very, a much bigger one than the one we first walked up. Wow. First thing that I notice when I come here into the hallway is these emblems, these awards that are hung on the wall. This, this antler head right there in the middle. But what, what gets my attention the most is this trumpet right here hanging from it. And this trumpet would be used to start and stop a hunting season, to celebrate something. This was actually a hunting horn, as you would call it. it. Has been invented in 1630 and has been used ever since. A wonderful musical instrument. Just a beautiful piece. And I also want to tell you something about this little sitting area that these people had here in the hallway. This was in a ca castle, actually a sitting area for when people came that were not that important. They would sit them down over here and give them a drink over here because they didn't want them inside of the castle. This was just, yeah, like you're not important enough to be in the castle. So you're going to have a drink over here and you will be out in five minutes. Wonderful. Then right next to the doorways here on either side, we have these library bookcases with hundreds of books still stored in there. Historical nature books, all kind of books are stored in here. Hooves of an animal to hang your coat up when you came into the castle. And here we have a depiction of a hunting, yeah, like a hunting convoy with hunters up there and dogs down there. And here he is blowing a trumpet. Wonderful. Another painting, perhaps of a lawyer. Wow. Here we have a painting of a woman, beautiful woman. Van Capel. The signature of this one says Van Capel, and that's a Dutch name. And it depicted a lush tropical land somewhere in this beautiful world. And here we can see a lot of black mold on the wall taking over this place. Some oil lamps over here to either side of it. They were used in the former times to light up this place and give a character. There are lots of documents stored in here. Let's also have a look to this side of the hallway. We have again, yet again another one of those lush tropical paintings from the same painter, Van Capel, here on the wall. And yet again, another painting of a woman. And it's painted in the same style, so probably by the same painter. And maybe they were a family. Wonderful. 
another depiction of a hunting season. So many books left in this place, so many documents. Wow, have a look at this room. Oh my God, so much things. But what gets me the most in this room is the spider webs that are covering the shutters of this window. Wow. Look at this chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Then we have another gold plated mirror here to the side. With yet another painting at the end of it. He looks very nice, the man. Like a real gentleman, let's slowly walk up the stairway to the top floor. And let's check out what we can find over there. Wow, there's even a chandelier, or more like a lantern, hanging here in the middle of the hallway to the top floor. And this seems like a cow antler that's here on the wall. Spiderwebs are already covering it all around. A cow or buffalo handler. Wonderful. Even a little depiction of Jesus Christ is left over here. Standing there with his arms spread. And now we're arriving on the top floor. And the first thing we see is again the deterioration in the castle. To fix, for example, this little hole, you have to redo the whole ceiling because moisture has stuck into the beams and it's almost not fixable. I think this castle will remain forever like this until it completely falls apart or somebody decides to demolish it. The keyway to this door and here all the bed linen is stored inside. The sounds that these things make, these cabinets make, is always so wonderful to hear. Again, another wonderful painting here in front of us with another crest to the side. Wow, <laughs> look at this. Packs of cigarettes from that time period are left here. Nowadays in France, you can't get even packs like this anymore because it's not allowed to display any advertisement on the pack. It's not allowed to color them, they have to be brown. And yeah, this is such an old piece. You can even see there's still a crest on the pack of cigarettes. Then these things still were royal. Everybody smoked back then. I love this little desk that we have here in front of us. nothing in there anymore fortunately beautiful upholstery chairs to either side of it and they also at this sitting bench here in the hallway let's first go to this part I'll walk all the way to the end and then we go from the right all the way to the left on the top floor ah, I was wrong on this left side of the castle there's also a lot of deterioration happening very fast after only eight years. Let's take this room first. Oh, and this already looks like some sort of a master bedroom. This was definitely a bedroom for the parents, for Mr. Jean and his wife. It's a very big bed. And a beautiful bed, to my opinion. Green upholstery all around it. It's unfortunately not made anymore, but that's expected from a castle with such deterioration. The wallpaper is peeling off. Just get a sense and feeling for this room. When he left behind Earth eight years ago, this was the last thing. He probably slept this last night in his bed. And now it has been like this for the last eight years. His life has stopped. His castle has stopped. But everything is still here to this day. Even his suitcase, his initials are on there. 
Ye N. I'm not going to tell you his surname, but uh, yeah, he was a rich man. And back in those days, it was not common for everybody to travel, but he could travel around the world and experience all these things that we do nowadays. He was a lucky man, probably also a hardworking man, but still a lucky man in those times. Over here we have a grand fireplace and an enormous mirror above it, gold plating all around it. I actually like this fireplace, it's, it's so yeah, rusty and old and weird looking for a castle, I must say. It's kind of out of place in this room. And you can definitely tell that this was his room. He had a taxidermy bird on his nightstand. Who does that except for a hunter? <laughs> okay, let's see. Little sink here in the hallway. Okay, and I think we have ended up right now in a children's bedroom. There are two beds right next to each other. So one, uh, two of his six, six children would sleep in this room. You can definitely see that it was a child's bedroom. They also had a wardrobe up here. Oh, let's see if we can open it up. This was the key for it. Oh, yes, and all the clothing of those children is still left behind in here. This is a helmet for horse riding, horse riding helmet. So that was probably also a sport that the children took part in. Wow. The child that slept on this side of the bed was most likely <laughs> a very big fan of skydiving. Maybe he performed skydiving himself as well. <laughs> okay, one tip everybody, if anybody ever thinks that he wants to give me a birthday present or anything else, just give me skydiving. I have never done it in my life, but I am such a big fan of it and I would love to do it. I'm gonna do it one day, but on a special place and a special occasion. And then we still have this side, with all the spider webs covering it. Wow. And another painting standing over here on the drawer. He looks like a handsome man. These light switches are so historical. You don't see them around anymore. What's in here? These are biscuit boxes, cookie boxes in uh, American English. The hat of the lady is also still here. Some perfumes and stuff I can see up there. And even a jar of jam down here. Okay. Another bedroom here to the right. And this is yet again a children's bedroom, a one person bedroom, I must say. In the middle of the room, we have this slate bed, a wonderful historical 18th century slate bed sells for a lot of money if you would sell it on the antique market. But here is just rotting away. Still all the bed linen, all the bed is completely made. The pillow is still resting at the end. I love it. And here we have the clothing of the person. Let's take away this chair. Let's see. Oh, all the clothing still in plastic wrappers in the wardrobe here. Let's close that up. That doesn't want to close anymore. No, I'm gonna place back the chair nicely. Oh, look at this. We have a drawing of a lady over here on the fireplace. And then underneath it, she is there in her dress in the gardens of the castle. Wow. Probably her, when she was younger, also left here. Mountainside. This is a card that somebody gave her. 
somebody sent her. And here we have the desk where she probably studied at for all her exams that she ever took in her lifetime. What do we have over here? Let me squeeze through there. This was her private walk-in closet, I think. I at first thought it was a bathroom, but it's not a bathroom. It's just the walk-in closet. Wonderful. With a vanity here in the corner. I love also the wallpaper, the blue wallpaper. And from here, you can look over the fields of the castle. And you could look and see this view in the morning. Isn't that just wonderful? And then from the hallway here in front of us, we have one of the nicest bedrooms of this entire castle. Wow. This is so well preserved compared to the other parts of the castle. Lovely to see. Oh, lush nature depicted here on the painting. And here again, we have another trumpet standing on this drawer. They would blow in here, have it probably around their arm like this to go to, onto the fields. And uh, when they probably shot something or shot a boar, they would just blow on it. I'm not sure how to do it, but something like that. Very nice piece of hunting history left here. Lots of other artifacts left here, like this boat. Depiction of Mary, yeah. Wow. Oh, here we have the other side of that wardrobe. Okay, there's the window that we just saw up there. So here the person that slept in this room had probably all his clothes. There's only one jacket left, nothing more. Such a wonderful room. Then right here in front of us, we have this beautiful bed. This is not a slate bed, this is just a normal antique bed. Still heavy duty, lots of thick wood, handcrafted, still made. And again, a religious depiction right above the bed. Wow. Corner of the room, we have this chair left behind. Beautiful red accent chair. And now let's go further to the right part of the castle. To this lovely piece. Ooh. <laughs> La porte ne, ma, ne, ne marche pas. The, the door doesn't work, it says on here. But clearly the door does work. So maybe it doesn't lock anymore. And when somebody was here in the bathroom, they couldn't lock it. So uh, yeah, their privacy was at risk. We have this very untasteful bathroom in here. Yeah, I must say it's very small, not what I would expect for such a large castle. With these brown sinks, this brown bidet. And you would expect like lion paws underneath this bathtub. There's just plastic studs that are placed underneath there. Not very tasteful. It's still a very unique piece. The shampoos are also left behind still. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Over here we can go into another bedroom. So this bedroom was connected to the bathroom. Let's look at that. <laughs> it, the doorway is completely concealed over here. You only just see a doorknob if you look carefully. Wow. That makes for a lovely piece. And in this room also two people used to sleep. We have again, these were slate beds, wonderfully made still, beautiful beds, wow. And in this room, there also would have been a sitting area to sit at night and relax during the day. Lots of the same wonderful chairs left here. There is even one more concealed room right behind there, but I'm not gonna try to go in there and a picture of a lady hanging from the door. <sighs> Look at this clock face. 
What a beautiful piece. Oh. Le, Le Merle Charpetier Bronzier made in Paris Rue Charlotte. Paris made clock. Wow. And I love also this tapestry that they had on the wall here. Again of a tropical lush land. So most likely these people traveled around the world a lot and uh, they collected artifacts and arts from all over the world that they hung up in this castle. And underneath it, you have another Roman man. Yeah, getting an arrow out of his holster to shoot an animal probably. Here he's holding a deer in his hand. Wow. Isn't that just fascinating to see? But unfortunately, the statue is deteriorating away with woodworms. Such a beautiful piece, rotting away. Here we have another room. This is not a bedroom, actually. This is another bureau, the very ordinary bureau, with a lounging area at the end over there. This, or is that, no, that's also a bed, but a very tiny room for the bedroom. Wow, this is again one of those modern rooms. The more we go to the right of the castle, the more things get modern. The more we go to the left of the castle, the more the things get history, historical and old school. Wow, love this bed. <laughs> With the blue accents matching the wall. And again, another concealed door that ends up in the hallway. Let's have a look over here. This one's empty, this drawer. Lots of paperwork. A bull hat. Somebody that lived here, probably a lady. Okay, then we get to the end of this upper floor. Oh, and here we have one of the newest bedrooms, to my opinion. Look at this. This is probably one of the last used bedrooms in this place. As you can see, two identical beds with different bed sheets here in the middle. And these cabinets were all probably placed later. And you see, this is newer furniture and is already falling apart. And the old furniture is still in one piece. Back in those days, people made things to last forever. Nowadays, we take make things to earn a quick buck. All the suits of Jean are still in here. <laughs> Let's close those up nicely. He put some nice vintage furniture in this room as well. Here's the vanity where the woman of the household would sit. And just make herself beautiful in the morning. Okay, another cabinet. Even the glasses of this person are still left here. The wallet, I hear some coins wrinkling in there. Oh, look at this. These were not the euros like we saw downstairs, but these were old French currency. These were francs, as you can see. Let's put that back nicely, like this. Oh, there is a two euro coin over here, as you can see. So two euros, so much money, nobody takes it and nobody wants it. Two euros is equivalent to two and a half dollars. For the people that are watching from America, I'm not going to convert it to every single currency, unfortunately. <laughs> and here on the bed, I just saw, we have this picture of three people. Maybe the children of this place. Okay. And then right here behind me, we have another bathroom with a bathtub. And also a sitting aid for an older person, as you can see. All the shampoos, toothbrushes and everything is still in here. Crazy things. Let's now go up the last flights of stairs. You can see all the rubble lying on the stairway here. Isn't that just crazy? Taking us 
I have to be very careful going up here. Oh my god. This is just... Whoa, this is just unsafe. But I, I still want to see the attic. Okay. Let's do it very carefully. Look over here. <laughs> That's how high up we are right now. And we're probably gonna end up in the servants' counters. Uh, counters of the house. The attic. Yes, like I told you, the first bedroom of one of the servants that slept in this place and that worked for these people we have over here. They also had a vanity, as you can see, with lots of artifacts, Maria, a jug for water. Wow. Show you all the spider webs on there. Classy shoes. And here we have another bedroom for one of the servants. You can definitely see the contrast between somebody that really lived in this place that was a family member and somebody that worked for these people. Child's crib as well. Very long hallway with rooms to either side of it. All filled with artifacts from the former days that these people didn't need anymore. What gets my interest every single time when I explore these places is that they store samples of wallpaper on the attic. They do it always. There's always samples of wallpaper on the attic. See, this is a flower wallpaper that they stored here on the attic. Just to see these people probably remodeled their, uh, their walls quite some times throughout the lifetime of this castle. Wow. There's a doorway up there that probably leads to the tower of the castle. You see what's behind here? Oh, this is a nice tower room. Wonderful blue bed. Here to the left. Then and here in the hallway between all the rubble, we still have this wonderful bench left behind. Yeah, wonderful. It's also deteriorating, but it used to be very wonderful. And right above it, a depiction of a castle somewhere on a lush countryside here in France. Wow, that's a grand window. Oh my God, look at this. But all the windows are ripped out of it. They had multiple servants in this room, in this household. Here we can look over the fields of the castle. Beautiful bed again, wonderful slate bed a very primitive washing setup for the servants. Let's go to the last quarter of this place. Let me show you what we're gonna find. Oh, this was more general attic storage area. They stored some beds up here, some mattresses, some things that they didn't need in the house anymore. Lots of chairs and stuff like that also left behind. Ooh, <laughs> is this a geese or something like that? I'm not 100% sure. Taxidermy animal, here on the attic. <laughs> and a knight's head, <laughs> but it's from a child. It's just plastic, unfortunately. A stulp for a statue.
and then the last room of the castle. Look at this. There is even an oil lamp. Still, oil lantern, I must say. Still hanging here. Wow. What a place, everybody. So many historical things. Look at all these newspapers that are bound together and stored here. They were used for insulation throughout the castle when it was still in operation. A baby wagon. Somebody would kill to have something like this in this house. And it's just thrown here between the rubble. Before I end off this week's video, I want to thank our sponsor Squarespace who made this video possible. Squarespace is an online platform on which you can build your own website, even without technical knowledge. And on that website, you can even build a community where people can reply, like and share the posts you make. And you yourself can categorize those posts and share those to other social media platforms. But that's not the only thing that Squarespace can do for you. I know that you guys have a lot of passions and want to create things in life and you can make your own store on Squarespace. And Squarespace even has extensions to put on top of that store to manage your taxes, to ship those items around the world and to also to categorize in your inventory and make it the process super easy for you. And there's one more thing I got to talk about. On your Squarespace website, you can also build a membership community. And there you can generate revenue through, send these people notifications and manage your members. And there are way more useful things to that as well. So what do you gotta do? You gotta go to squarespace.com slash prosofdk to get your first domain or website with 10% off. Isn't that just fantastic? I wanna thank Squarespace one more time for sponsoring this week's video. Without them, this would just be impossible. So thank you. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, my lovely viewers, we have unfortunately come to the end of the video. I'm also very sad that I have to probably leave this place behind, but I gotta go further. There are more places to explore throughout France. I still have two more castles planned for tomorrow and I have to drive six hours to get there. Exploring these abandoned places is a tough job, and but I do it with great pleasure and of course I can, I'm very lucky to see all these places. I want to thank you all for watching this week's video very, very much and this was one of my favorite places again to explore. I hope you liked it as well. If you did so, write me a nice comment down there in the comment section, subscribe to the channel if you're new here and definitely give it, the video a big thumbs up. There's also a link in the description for Patreon, there you can support and help me out with going to all these places and that's how I fund these road trips and all my gear to film these places and all the expenses. So thank you very much and I will see you next week in another beautiful episode. I love you very much. Bye bye.